Welcome back to Los Santos Goes to Work, the series where we do jobs in and around Los Santos, legal and illegal, in order to try to make some money. Today we're back driving the bus, but we're in a new bus model. It's a man bus. I believe that's a manufacturer. And it says Metro Northwest on it. I'm not too sure what that refers to. If you do know, leave it in a comment down below. I assume it's based off a real life company. But our bus has definitely got a more modern update. Turn blinkers are working perfectly on this model. Here's the first person so you guys can check it out. Dowels are way off, I will say. But other than that, it's a pretty good model. We've updated the Rage Transportation mod to sip fuel a little more quickly so we might actually have to stop and get gas today we've never had to do that when we've been um you know either driving the bus or transporting good so that could add another layer we've got to keep track of we're on bus line de today and it looks like we have eight stops we got to pick people up it's about 10 a.m in the morning so we're gonna have people just running errands as well as going into work traffic conditions are uh, are moderate they're not too bad this morning our first stop's going to be right up ahead it looks like as always we have the police and for or traffic enforcement mod on so we want to watch our speed make sure we're not running red lights and overall just driving well. How's it going? You don't know what you're missing, man. Okay, here's our first bus stop and of course the waypoint is setting us up to do a some type of of turn. Great. I think what I'm going to do is take a left at the at the red. And uh, we'll try to turn around somewhere. Because up ahead is it turns into a bridge. So we got a, a couple of people waiting to be picked up this morning. Okay, that's not a good idea either. That that's a gate. Actually, might be able to use it to flip around. Let's see here. Got to do it real careful. Yeah, come on. I'm gonna wait for this pedestrian to pass behind me. Christ. Shift. Jesus! <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, whatever. He's okay. <laughs> oh my gosh! I can't believe I hit him. He's running. I, I think he's okay, guys. I hope so. All right, good morning, guys. Come on in. Hope all y'all are having a great day today. Yep, we got an empty bus. You're the first stop of today. All right, don't be creepy now. Come on in. Next stop is Capitol Boulevard. I already had a vehicle rear end us. watching the trees the trees in the past have been my downfall where they put me in entirely destroyed the bus okay, the next stop is going to be right next to the police station over here should be on our side of the road so no crazy u-turns or anything like that Stop number two. Now this mod actually pays pretty well. Hello. 
And it looks like if you are having problems with them taking a while, you can hit uh, Shift S and it'll kind of force it to uh, get through. Because sometimes it, it does appear it gets stuck a little bit. Oh, watch it there, buddy. FedEx truck right on my tail. So we're going to three next, about 0.7 miles away. Got a little damage to the car. Um, there are mechanic shops included in this mod. If you needed to get your vehicle repaired, you could do that. Look at all the trucks out today. And we're gonna be taking a left turn up ahead. I've also updated the uh, the Greyhound buses as well. Those have been changed, so you'll see those around. We'll probably use those in an upcoming video. I'm gonna pass this guy. Okay, speed limit on this bridge, I wanna say it's about 40, 45, somewhere in that range. We're hearing a lot of screaming. Always a good sign. These corners are tight. It's always really challenging driving these bigger vehicles through the city. Sometimes I do struggle. You got to take those wider turns in order to accommodate such a long vehicle. And if you have traffic coming via the other way, it's it can get um it can get really complicated. Now there's a couple of cities in South Carolina that have transitioned their bus suites, their public transportation buses over to straight electric. A lot of them are in the upstate of South Carolina. I'm not sure exactly how much of a range those buses can go on a, on a charge. And I don't know exactly how the charging system works. Um, I don't know if they can hot swap their batteries for a fully charged battery so they don't have to sit at a station in charge but I've seen the buses and they are heavily advertised but that could be some pretty significant fuel savings cost savings over the lifetime of the bus you don't have to pay for gas at all because I imagine with the stop and go of being in the city these buses don't get the best fuel economy so it's an interesting approach. I'm sure the buses actually cost more up front. I mean, they, I, they would have to, um, but I guess probably with uh, government subsidiaries, they would get that cost down and make it advantageous for that particular um, town or city to transition over. I've always kind of had an interest in electric vehicles, so seeing an electric bus, that was definitely a first for me. But um, I, I think the electric motor is certainly powerful enough to power a, a vehicle of this size. It's not really an issue. Next stop, I'm not seeing anybody here. Maybe somebody's just getting out. We got one individual here. Yep. Okay, we're done. So I guess technically we have to stop even if there's nobody there. Just rules and regulations we've got to follow. All right, I'm watching you over there, buddy. Bus stop four is 0.73 miles away. So far we've been good at, at not attracting the attention of police. That's the last thing we want on our record, a ticket for any type of traffic violation. Oh no, okay. I'm gonna stay in this lane. 
The bus can move actually pretty quickly. Ah, oh, no, come on. Thank you, sir. I got this. We're looking at Tuesday, right? Now, I was thinking of a good um, call out pack. And since we've been doing a lot of security guard stuff, wouldn't it be really cool to see a secu security guard call out pack come to LSPDFR? You would respond to the scene, you di use dialogue to kind of defuse the situation. Um, as a last resort, you could call police, fire, EMS if you needed to. But obviously, you're not able to arrest people. In most cases, you don't have a gun. Fucker. I just thought it'd be an interesting twist on LSPDFR where we're so used to always arresting people or you know, having to use lethal force. I think it can be done. I mean, I've seen Peter Yu put out some pretty good call out packs that use a lot of dialogue and a lot of investigating to try to get to the bottom of what exactly might be occurring. Fuel is still, um, it's going down, but uh, I, we, I think we're gonna have enough for the trip. I think it's a little more realistic. Before it would barely nudge, you would see the tiniest bit of uh, sliver of red. So we need to stay in this lane. Oh, oh my gosh. That's one way to do it. Quarter mile away. So far the bus is holding up really well. Just one passenger currently. Not too busy on the bus line. So the city bus driver, I assume you just do the same route every day. Just continue to do it. And we've got some type of police pursuit going on. Oh my gosh, cars are driving on top of each other. Gotta love it. <laughs> uh, somebody just abandoned their car as well. Alright, next stop's gonna be Right up ahead. Yeah, I can stand this lane. Sounds like a plan. Whoever designed the city of Los Santos, some of the Oh my gosh. Some of the markings aren't completely accurate in terms of what's a what's a turning lane and it's very confusing. Alright, we got anybody coming in? Serenity Wellness, that's, I think that's like a, they sell uh, medicinal marijuana. There we go. The next stops are really close actually. Let me go ahead and get in this lane. Welcome aboard. Good morning. Good morning. This is proper procedure. Let people come off before entering the bus. Oh gosh, uh, this cop may or may not be coming after me. Getting pulled over here? Are you kidding me? I think I'm getting pulled over, and there's like a gunfight going on right behind me. What's the problem, officer? 
He pulled in front of right in front of the vehicle to kind of block me off here. Hello. Giflon. Pulling out the ticket Think book. Next time. I ran I'm pretty sure I did not run a red light. Some of these sometimes when they pull you over, they're giving me tickets for things I didn't necessarily do. Sir, I'm pretty sure I didn't run the red. You're not even worth it. And there goes four hundred and fifty dollars. I saw that blip pop up on the mini map, and I was curious to see if he's going to try to give me a ticket or not. Oh man, okay. <laughs> Next bus stop is straight ahead. We've been ran into, we've gotten tickets today. I don't know if it can go too too much worse. And of course we're getting almost every red light imaginable. Good, we're good. All right, Dorset Drive, point three one miles. It's like two more stops, and we'll be done. What is this car doing? Move out of the way, dummy. Hey, move. We got a schedule to keep. Oh, that was nice. Uh, not so nice. <laughs> Another very hard turn. This is a red light, it looks like. Or a yield sign. I'm confused what how exactly this works. But we need to head that way. Just wait for it to clear. See the next bus stop ahead, then just one more. Then we'll finish this route line. Hey guys, thank you for choosing. Los Santos Transit for your bus transportation needs. Have a good day. Well, there's a clock and bell truck. I love that truck. Last one is 0.78 miles and then we'll finish it up. As long as we make more than $450, we will profit because our expense for this trip was that, that red light ticket.
Sounds like I hear emergency lights coming from some direction. I'll we'll have to be careful when we cross. There it is. There's City Hall. Oh, there we go. Barely made that one. Outdoor shopping area. There's a Del Perro Pier, the famous Del Perro Pier. This is a stop sign. Oh, okay, we'll wait. We'll wait. There's a, oh, there's a pedestrian about to get hit in the middle of the road. Let me back up a little bit. Oh my gosh. Be careful. You are crazy. Oh, and it's starting to rain a little bit. So it's looking like a straight shot. Man, I, I, I really, people who drive all day, that takes a special type of person. I could not imagine driving either a truck or a bus all day. I mean, it just wears you down. Not so much physically, but mentally. You've got to be, got to be of sound mental state. It's just a lot of thinking. And on top of that, if you just don't pay attention for a second, you can cause a serious accident of a vehicle of this size so god bless everybody who does it it is not an easy job especially dealing with these drivers out here my goodness stop sign another red light We are almost there. 459 feet to go. Let me take this next right. Oh. Oh, oh no. We just caused a, a minor accident. Couldn't take the corner as wide as I wanted to. And our last red light, of course, we get a, a red light, the very last intersection. I'm just going to watch this corner here carefully. And nobody's even here. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Los Santos Goes to Work as you did see the game crash there at the very last second so I'm not exactly sure the total we made but based off past experience it was probably around two grand so minus of $450 about $1,500 we made doing that route uh, if you have any further suggestions for Los Santos goes to work I would love to hear them thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next episode